Good morning, friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. I am feeling quite glorious. It is 6.50. I slept over nine hours. It feels so good. I feel rested. It just was what my body needed. So, it is Saturday. The day is ours to just chill. With traveling, I've gotten thrown off a bit. I need to see where I'm at. I've gotten some things done. I flip-flop some days, so. As far as kindness, done, done, done. I did this one early this year, like the day before Vlogmas started. This one I'm behind on because I have a very specific idea for what I wanna do for this, so that might happen this weekend. Write a message, done. I did that right before I left. Did this a couple times while traveling and took coffee to the teams that I was working with. Um, done, I gave them their Christmas gifts. I didn't make Steven's favorite meal or snack. But who says it has to be Steven too? It could be someone else. Um, I need to do that one this weekend. Send an uplifting text message to a friend. That one will be done. I'll probably do that a bunch of times today. Uh, as far as self-care, this one got trickier because I did move some around. Done, done. Walk a local trail. I didn't walk a local trail, but I walked a bunch of trails while I was in New Jersey around that water. Um, oh, I have walked local trails too. Good there, good there. Done, because I journal every day. Positive affirmations, done. Drinking water, I've done it every day of Vlogmas so far. Prepare delicious and healthy meals. That was the eighth. What day would have been the eighth? If yesterday was the, I was traveling that day. I did not do this one. <laughs> um, stretch or do yoga. We did that with Laura last night and today is five to 10 minutes of meditation. I might also do eight and 10 together today. I'm actually not as far off as I thought. Can we also talk about the fact that it's day 10 and we are halfway through Vlogmas also like, Look how long my hair is getting. I think a haircut should be on my self-care calendar this weekend as well. All right, I am going to drink a big cup of water because I feel like I went to bed so early last night. I feel a little dehydrated. And then some coffee. That's the plan, Stan. I am super excited. We have arrived at Breathe at Home and we are going to do some private shopping. They're going to share their gift ideas. How are you? Hello, hello. I'm so happy. I just did like a little filming outside. First of all, I know many of you might experience the online shopping experience, but if you are ever in Pittsburgh, New York, you have to come to this store because just like, look how stunning it is. You wanna buy all the things because it's just so beautifully done and curated. So I am so excited to go on this little private shopping trip. We're gonna talk, we're gonna chat, we're going to share things that we love and just have fun and get some really great gifts for people in our lives, but also for myself, I think, today. We are settled in. I just chatted with Abby for a little bit, who is the buyer for this store. So like the beautiful curation is all Abby's like genius work. But I am going to do my shopping and then Abby's gonna take us around to things that I might have missed that would make great gifts for ourselves, for our friends, all of the things. So let's go ahead and dive in and do some shopping. And there was one thing online that I saw that I was super interested in seeing in person. And it is these enamel bowls. I really, really love them. And like the little, the little serving bowls and like for dips. These are just beautiful. Oh, I love that one. Definitely going to grab a couple of these. I think I'm really digging the orange and mushroom one. Kind of love the idea of having the mix of the two because I think they're just so 
so pretty. You should already, as you're watching me shop, be perusing their website because I'm sure even after Abby and I go through everything, there will be things that you find that are just so, so good. I think this is a genius gift. I've actually gifted it several times, but a really nice salad bowl because that's something people don't buy themselves. And then a really great pair of salad tongs. I'll make sure that I link these, um, but like such a great gift. Love it. I have a bunch of these. They're so easy to clean out and they just elevate a salad when you're having people over. It looks more intentional and more thoughtful, but a great gift because people will not buy this for themselves. Another one of my favorite things that I actually have at home, and I know you guys have seen it. I think I bought it here last year, is this Christmas tree cutting board. Some of us are not good at arranging our charcuterie boards but if you have the Christmas tree board, it makes it so easy because just follow the shape of it and already it's going to look festive even if you screw up everything else. So love, love, love these. And they wipe up so nice and I like to just have it sitting out on my counter because it just is cute. Love that, definitely will link that as well because it's just a great gift. You could gift it alone, you could gift it with cheeses, like great, great gift option. I bought these last year and they are so amazing. I got the everything bagel and the pretzel one and I bought the pretzel one with a mustard and I made them when my family was visiting for Christmas. We had so much fun with them. They're just like great gifts. I'll probably, I think I'm gonna try this garlic herb focaccia one because I didn't try that one last year. I think they had some more over here. They have apple cider donuts, chocolate donuts, Great gift idea. Oh, here's the soft pretzel one. I wanna get this one again because Steven really, really loved them. But just like really, really, really cute gifts. So you guys know that Steven loves like a noodle bowl thing. He loves like pad ties and all those things. So I know that he would love this. So I want to trying to think which one he would like. I think he would like the chili wavy noodles. He just loves, he loves like a noodle shenanigans. So this will be a great fun gift for him. Add it to the things I shared with you that I picked up for him this year. I feel like this is the type of store that you could walk into or peruse their website and every time you are going to find something new. You guys know, I bought these matches here. I actually was able to get like a, mine has like a gray smoky container and you guys always ask where I got them. I got them here. They're by the company, I believe it's called Scheme. I might, I might be wrong. I'm right, Abby just told me I'm right. So these are my favorite matches. What I love about these matches is that they're super long and they just make it so much easier to light things. Um, especially once you get to like a large vessel of a candle and you've burned it down. But you guys ask all the time because you see them on my coffee table. I bought them here. They're by Scheme. You will love them. Also, once again, a great, great gift to like give with a candle because it's just such a pretty and unusual container. Love them. Abby already showed me these and I'm pumped about them. So they're for camping. And let's just be honest, you guys know I'm not a camper unless it's like, glamping, but these are really, really cool. So Abby was explaining them to me. What you do is you fill this up and you refrigerate it for three days with the alcohol that you're using. So if you're using a tequila for a Paloma, you would fill it up to the line, you would um, have it sit for three days, and then it makes eight to 16 drinks because it becomes the base of your cocktail. I think these are genius. And you don't need to be a camper. I think I'm gonna pick up the Paloma, the sweater weather one. Sounds amazing. It is ginger root, vegan marshmallow, whole cinnamon, citrus infused, non-GMO vegan sugar. Bloody Mary, have you tried the Bloody Mary yet? I can't get it. This is Abby, everyone. Hi. She's gonna take us shopping in a minute Hi. after I'm done. You've not tried the Bloody Mary yes. yet? Okay, so the noodles I can't get my hands on because we keep selling out of them. All right, my husband is obsessed with all things noodle-y. Okay, so then he might like the, um, the chili crunch too. Grab those two then. Yeah, if he wants to put it on top. You can put it on top of your noodle, on top of eggs. Oh. It's like a, just an accoutrement. That yes, you know. grab that for me. Does he like spicy? Yes, he loves spicy. Okay. Also for my friends who don't like to drink, I also found toast here 
Um, this is where I first discovered it. It is a non-alcoholic sparkling tea. So good. This one is the sparkling white tea, cranberry and ginger. So we have it for everyone. Abby was also telling me you could easily do these non-alcoholic as well. So like if you don't drink, that's fine. You can still make these work for you. And who doesn't love a good mocktail? So really, really great idea. Um, just, I think it's so cool. I'm a little bummed. I already told Abby I was looking forward to restocking my Clever Tea here because they carry it, but she told me it is coming at the end of the week, so I will be back to grab some. That This is a really cool planner. You guys know that I'm a planner junkie. If I hadn't just filled out my Louis Vuitton desk agenda, I would be all over this. This is a, this is a really cool idea. Check online to see if you can get this because I really like the layout of it. It's really clean, it's really simple. Yeah, I love it. I also wish you guys had Smell-O-Vision because it smells so good in here. She's a bunch of candles lit and they are phenomenal. Another gift idea I have to share with you because obsessed with them. The Vitruvi stone diffusers. I will tell you, stone diffusers, I mean, diffusers in general sometimes don't look great out. They're just not pretty. The Vitruvi stone diffusers are so beautiful. So I have the black one, I have the white one, and then I forget if they call it clay or brick. Like it's like a terra, um, it's terracotta. That's what it is. I just had to talk about it. I have a terracotta one in different spots throughout the house. They do about 500 square feet. So if you are looking for a beautiful, if you are looking for a really beautiful stone diffuser or just a diffuser in general, Check these out on their site. Also, I love that the lighting is simple on it. I despise the ones that like light up in all different random colors. These are just give off like a very simple glow. They're easy to work with. Love them. This color I haven't seen and it is stunning. You guys have seen these in my house. You ask where I get them. This is where I get them. So I probably have Ooh, five or six of these. I have all the different sizes. I have the largest and the smallest ones, but these starburst candle holders, I'll also tell you, great for the holidays, but I actually leave mine out all year round because A, they have like a neutral sparkle to them, which I really appreciate. I gravitated towards the darker one, but if that's not your jam, they have them in like an all gold, more of like a champagne color, but there's something about the dark crystal one. I have these all over the place. When they are lit, they are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. These are a great gift. Let's grab Abby and let her walk through all the things that I missed because there are so many and let's add to our plethora of items. Are you ready to shop, Abby? I'm right. <laughs> all right, so this is Abby. She is the buyer for the store. So like all of the things that you see curated here are all Abby's work. So Abby's gonna take us through some things that we missed and share some of her favorites and they will all be linked below for you. Perfect. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so I feel like you kind of cover, well, let's talk glassware. Okay. I heard you mention glassware. I do love and glassware. What glassware did you mention in the other room that you liked or you just did like a paint, like a skin? Oh, the uh, like juniper yes. little cups, okay. love them. So every year we kind of showcase a different holiday type glassware. These coops, oh my gosh. I think, are just amazing. They come in a bunch of different colors. You can stay with one color scheme or you can mix them all up. Wait, they are so fun. And they're, they're beautiful. And they're nice and large. Yeah. You know, so you can really fit like a nice size cocktail or a glass of wine or sparkling water, whatever. whatever <laughs> I mean, if you want to elevate your water, like it's throw it in like a really cute glass. It's I good. also agree that like, you guys know my aesthetic is really neutral. However, I think this is where you can have fun and have colors. So like, if you guys think about my glassware, I just bought that set of wine glasses that are all different colors because it is fun. Yeah. So I will be adding these. <laughs> <laughs> These are this. They're I I think cool. I would go the green. I also want to let you guys know when things or glassware have this really um, shiny gold on them. Don't throw them in your dishwasher. Hand wash them all. Also, like throwing 
delicate, nice glassware and the dishwasher is just not a good call, just take the time and wash them by hand so you have them forever. Yes. I'm obsessed. How many do you need? I need, I, now see, this is where I debate, like, do I want to mix up the color because this one's so, my husband will not drink out of these, mm -hmm. but like to drink out of this one at mm -hmm. Christmas, but like the pink one will be so mm -hmm. fun. Yes. During like Valentine's yes. Day yes. or New Year's Eve. Yes. But the purple is so different and I never feel like I buy purple. I think I am going to go green and purple, green and purple. which purple is such a rare like color for me to ever buy. I don't know if I even own anything purple. Well then, you know, that means it's really gonna pop in your home then. You know, when you bring something in that's not in your normal scheme, what it does, I always think if I think something's Look cool. Look at that. If something's cool in this store, when it gets into your home, it becomes exponentially cooler because it's not fighting for so much attention. In here, it's fighting for a lot of attention. So if you're attracted to it in here and you think it's cool, when you get it home, it's going to be like, have a serious wow factor. Yeah. Especially if you don't have a color in your normal I mean, palette, I can't really think of purple. It, look cool. how pretty that is yes. together. Also, I feel like, I think pink and green make me feel different than like purple, like, cause this feels a little bit more moody. Yes. Like, than a pink. And it's not yeah. so holiday. Pink and green could read a little bit more Christmassy. Yeah. Purple and green, this is, I would call festive. Yeah, so I like love it. Kind of I feel like a New Year's like Eve festive. would look Birthday. really good. Halloween. Yes. <gasps> oh my gosh, <laughs> to have like, to have a few people come over, to imagine this table with like the green and the purple with like lots of like black and candlesticks yes. and like gold. Yeah. For Halloween to be so fun. I'm yes. at a dinner party for two people I really like to join us. I am obsessed with those. Yes. Oh, this, this is, is one of my favorite things. This is how we first so met. So I remember distinctly ringing you up. I believe it was for Dirty Grass. And yes. I said, I love this fragrance. And you said, I love this fragrance too. Mm -hmm. And then I saw you post about it for the first yes, time. Yes, I did. And that's how we met. Yes. So, um, Heretic is just, I think, like the ultimate personal fragrance because of the intentionality behind the entire line. Mm. The ingredients are so clean. It wears and smells different than any other personal fragrance line because it doesn't have all of the synthetics and the fillers mm. and those extra chemicals that make something really pop in a fragrance, but it's also what makes you have a headache makes you overpowering when you walk yes. past somebody. So this is more of a I hate when a fragrance, fragrance is too heady. Yes. Yeah. So this literally just washes your body with fragrance in a really organic and clean way. And so the entire line is created that you can wear them each separately and mm -hmm. on their own, but you can also layer them all together. Beautiful. So I was saying that I have my bottles just lined up and I actually don't even pay attention to what I'm layering. It actually doesn't even matter. They all wear so nicely together that someone will say like, oh, what are you wearing? And I actually can't even remember the combination that I threw on that. So day. what is your favorite like scent, would okay. you say? Well, I have a few. Dirty Hinoki is, is new. And okay. I really like Dirty Hinoki because it's kind of tropical, but not in an overpowering mm. way. Um, I think that Dirty Lemon, My favorite. Dirty Vanilla, My and favorite. Dirty Lavender are the two best bases to have for your layers. Yes. I agree. Um, Bergamusk is also a newer fragrance for us. It's very unisex. It's very wearable. Um, it's a bit more spicy and it's nice for this time of the year. Um, in the summer months, I love Dirty Hinoki and Dirty Coconut. Oh, is that, you is guys, that nice? the Bergamusk is nice. Yes. So ber imagine Bergamusk layered with Dirty Vanilla. I was just going to say dirt with Dirty Vanilla. Yes. Very, very nice. So, um, Dirty Grass, I love with Dirty oh, Lemon. Oh, my favorite combo. Um, so, there's, it's, you don't have to choose either, which is really nice. I think sometimes people think like, oh, I wear this fragrance, and then they'll wear it for yes. 30 years. You can just like this fragrance and pick and choose and mix and match mm -hmm. and have it evolve with you and also evolve with the seasons. We had Dirty Hinoki and we, I mean, it literally sold out within, I would say, a couple weeks. What would you layer just, Hinoki with? Or would you wear it solo? I think it's really good solo. But who cares? Why choose? Yeah. Wear it solo on a Monday and layer it up on a Wednesday. It has like you a don't really have to pick. It is interesting. Yeah. All right, we're gonna take one of those two yes. with us. Mm -hmm. All right, we're adding those two. Okay. But this is how Abby and I originally met, and I have been a lover of this fragrance ever since. You cannot beat it. I have sweaters where I spray dirty vanilla, and I can like smell it when I go to wear it again. But don't you agree that it's it? 
boring where you're walking past somebody and you're like, whoa. What I is agree. That? I a, agree. It's a, it's a wash of scent. Yeah, I will tell you, traveling, I get compliments all the time on this fragrance, like walking through an airport or anywhere, like because it like it really does catch people's attention because it's different. Because it's all coming from natural ingredients that are in the fragrance, which is very different than a man-made scent. And you're right. a lot you're right. of us are used to man-made fragrances. And exactly. that smells and lasts and lingers in your nose differently than something that is that you actually already are familiar with, which would be something that comes from nature. I also just have to say something really quick that's on my mind. How often do you get to do a shopping trip like this with someone as knowledgeable as Abby, who actually like really explains things to you because it makes the purchase feel so much more thoughtful and like really like, it, it just, feel, yeah, intentional. Yeah. It feels really great. I forgot to mention this when we did like our first little okay. run, but I have to stop here at um, Baloo. So, oh, and I skipped over this too. Okay, so if do you have a weighted blanket? I do have a weighted blanket. So all weighted blankets are not created equal, I will tell you. Okay. So I purchased a weighted blanket for my mom that was very cool looking. It was super like thick and thready, but she's like, my toes keep popping out of Okay. Bed. So Baloo, I started carrying specifically because they have children's size weighted blankets. Mm. So the children's size is a nine pound weighted blanket. Okay. But then it goes to a 12 pound throw and then the queen size is 15 pounds and a king size is 25 pounds. Okay. And it is, they're over here, let me show you. They're evenly weighted and distributed. They are not hot. Sometimes you get those beaded ones and the beads like adjust in it. So it's like not, No. it doesn't feel so right. These are not hot. They, so I have people who are like, I'm a hot sleeper. I could never sleep with this. It adds weight, but not heat. And so it's clinically oh proven gosh. that when you have weight on your body, it suppresses your nervous system. Yes. So it promotes relaxation and a calming sensation. And so I originally got them because I wanted my kids to have a weighted blanket for when they were doing quiet time on the couch. Okay. First of all, it's a game changer. Any Is it really? Yes. You should definitely have them on your couch for quiet time. And then um, one night I brought their weighted blanket up to my bed and I put it on me for bedtime and I slept completely differently okay. than I normally sleep. Did you like throw it under your comforter? No, I put it right on top. Okay. And what I found is that instead of like tossing and turning, I wasn't held down, but I was just like suppressed as if someone was giving me a hug. And I literally slept in a completely different way. Wow. So last year, every single person in my family got a weighted blanket for Christmas. Okay. So these weighted blankets, they're incredible. I would highly suggest them for the person who has everything and you don't know what to get them. This is great for all ages, from a child to your grandmother mm. who's sitting in her chair, watching her show, having it on her knees. Washing them because I know some weighted blankets have like crazy washing and directions. You can wash them in um, a front load washing machine all the way up to a king size. For the king size, you'll want to take it to a laundromat. Okay. It's 25 yes. Pounds. But your throws, the queen size, just a normal. What size is this one? This is a throw. Okay, I, I love it. I'm not. Do they come in different colors? colors? Yes. Amazing. Sure. Okay, so. The coolest thing about this company is actually their sleep mask. So that's what I want to get to. Okay, 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 okay. So the sleep mask is over here. Now what makes this sleep mask so cool is that obviously it's protecting you from light and it's great for travel. Yes. Different than a lot of sleep masks that I've seen in the past where it's super, super soft and it Velcros around the back. But Wait. the fabric is amazing, and what makes it really cool oh is my that gosh. each sleep mask comes with this flat crystal. Okay. So, for example, this is amethyst. So, amethyst, calming, grounding, self-love. Okay. What you do is you take this little crystal, and it slides right in this little pouch here. Okay. And so, it sits on your third eye when okay. you have your sleep mask on. So these, again, are amazing for somebody who likes to wear a sleep mask to bed. It's completely flat in the back, super soft, won't leave any marks or pillow, amazing. you know, marks on your face. Also great for travel if you're doing like an overnight flight or you just want to sleep. But the crystals I think are so cool. So there's rose quartz, amethyst, fluorite, and blue lace agate. I mean, everything you said about amethyst is everything I need. Well, and yes. Stephen and I are actually flying next weekend. I think like a gift is like 
also about the packaging a little bit, Agreed. which I think like you guys nail here mm -hmm. all the time. Like the packaging is always so good on top of the gift. So like, I just love the packaging of this as well. Like it's not how like another like sleep mask would come packaged. Yeah, I mean, part of the experience when, when you're gifting, whether it's to somebody or I really think that gifting yourself is incredibly important. Oh, I agree. So when I have people come in here all the time who are like, I should be shopping for other people. I'm only shopping for myself. I'm like, good for you. You should be shopping for yourself. Mm -hmm. That is so important because not only can you gauge what you're attracted to mm -hmm. which will then mean that you're attracted to what you're gifting but also like wow. you should be gifting yourself like that is an important component to you know making things like pleasurable a lot of the gifts I end up giving are something that I have grown to love myself and I think a gift feels much more special to someone when you're like I have this I love it and it had like made a difference and a change so like I think what Abby is saying is like actually really important especially right now this time of year we will all forget about ourselves but like the things that we love the most are the things that we should be gifting to people it's okay kind of, this is a full circle moment for okay this neck pillow. So okay. this neck pillow was my my gift before my weighted blanket a couple years okay. ago. So I gave it to everybody. And now what you're saying about gifting something that you love, I heat this up. I've had it now for four years. I gifted them to, in particular, one of my friends. And at night, she'll say, are you heating up your neck pillow? I'm heating up mine. And so Aww. it's this thing where like, I know that she loves what I love and I'm... I mean, it just makes gifting so much more special than... I agree. Like, you know, coming in and haphazardly getting something that you're not even paying attention to, but you can only mm. gift when you know what you love yourself. Yeah. So I think there should be no shame in shopping for yourself during this holiday season. I well. agree. I agree. So let's talk about this. So um, a lot of people will say like, oh, I have a neck pillow. Mm -hmm, so did I. But the difference here is the way that it's curved. Yeah, I was going to say the shape is different. Yeah. So it like perfectly goes around your neck. And I had originally gotten it when I was pregnant. Okay. And so I used it like I would heat it up, put it behind my back. I would put it like underneath my feet when I was sitting on the couch. Mm. Um, I would use it constantly. Then once I had the baby um, and I was nursing, I actually wore it the other way like this. So it would keep my chest warm. So it's like my go-to oh baby gosh. shower gift as well. No. Which no one would ever think to buy this. First of all, at a baby shower, the mother should always be gifted. It is, it is a rule. What, the mom is doing everything. Why does the baby get all the gifts? <laughs> it's That's a really good point. Yes, it's, it's transformational for a mom to actually be acknowledged during the baby shower, which is a gift for her. Oh my gosh. So this is like my favorite baby gift, baby shower situation. And then she uses it far after the pregnancy yes, too. I, I, I use it every single night. So I heat it up when I'm watching a show downstairs. Okay. Then I throw it in my microwave. All microwaves are different. Yeah. So I now know that I can put it in for 90 seconds. I take it, I shake it, I put it in for another 90. Okay. My mom, she has one. Her microwave is a little bit hot, yeah. so she does a different time. So you'll want to like gauge yeah, how play hot with your it. microwave is. But right before I go upstairs, I heat it up again. I put it at the bottom of my bed. I go brush my teeth, I put my pajamas on, and when I get into bed... My oh my gosh, on. that's like amazing. The best thing ever. And then I put it on. Oh my gosh, I love I it. I usually fall asleep with it on. So this is a great gift, $58. Really Such a good but gift. It's like something that also is all ages. Oh my gosh. Anybody can have one. Oh my Other gosh. Other room? Yes. Okay, come on. This is so fun. So we were talking about glassware. Yes. You picked out your coupe. Yes. These are also very fun. They come in a million different colors. Like, oh my gosh. Pink, but a really nice saturated color. Yeah. So these look beautiful if you have, you know, a bar with open shelving. Yeah. You can do like a full rainbow or you can do something the neon kind of yellow is so which cool. is really fun. Um, but if you are a color person, this is a great opportunity to get like a really nice saturated pop of color. Um, and this to me, again, it reads festive, but it doesn't read Christmas. I so agree. it will last you for a long time. I love those. I love those. Yes. So cool. Risotto. Oh, wait, wait, You were telling me a little bit about this. Okay. okay. So I, first of all, I think the packaging is amazing. It's so cute. There's mushroom and then there's also cheese and basil. It makes the perfect risotto. Okay. And all you need is cream, Parmesan, and olive oil. So what I love about this, it's very reasonable. It's $15. 
Um, I think this is great, like a great hostess gift, or if you feel like you just need a couple extra mm. gifts in your cabinet for those people who like surprise you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Or you could round it out a bit, do it like bring it with a beautiful bottle of olive oil mm. and like a, a bowl or, you know, you can make it a little bit fuller and more robust. Really thoughtfully paired uh, bottle of wine. Yes. I love it. Yes. So while we're talking about our pastas, come over here. Well, I'm grabbing this because Steven <laughs> loves risotto. He buys it at, he gets it at every restaurant we go to, but like we it's never make it. It's make. so hard to make. Right, so this is kind of like a foolproof. You can check in with me and tell me how. It okay, I will. So talking about pasta, I think this is so cool. So these are little discs of salt. And okay. what it does is you'll keep it by your, you know, your stove and it perfectly pots a salt of water. Now, when I read pasta and it tells me to salt my water, I have no idea. Yeah, I have no about. idea. Is it a pinch? Is it a dump? What is yeah. it? So this, you're taking one sphere, you're putting it into your pot, and it perfectly pots a salt of water. So Salt's a pot of water. What did <laughs> I say? You said pot, 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 pots of salt, salt of water. water. You know what you mean. I, we know what you mean. You can go ahead and edit that. I'll, I'll edit it for you. So if you are, you could gift this alone, because uh -huh. it's like a really nice glass jar, or... You could pair it with a great pasta cookbook, maybe. I mean, how cool are spicy garlic mohawks? Oh my gosh. So you could do it with a thing of pasta. We've got pasta sauce. There's just, there are so many different, or this with your- The focaccia, so yes. So fun. So I think also with gifts is you don't need to feel overwhelmed about like how to make it manageable or in your mm. price point, or in your budget. You can do something super small and intentional or you can kind of blow it up and make it much more robust and full. And I think sometimes people like will avoid a store like this thinking that like, oh, there might not be anything in my budget. Whereas I think like you could go and overspend on something mass produced and not thoughtful at Target. Right. And you could get something so much more thoughtful and so much more high quality yeah. when you shop small yeah. and like explore stores that you might avoid because you don't think yeah, that like it, something will be in your it, price range. It makes an impact in so many ways. It makes an impact mm -hmm. in who you're gifting. It makes an impact in it your local yes. businesses. It makes an impact in your community. So it's really, it's a huge ripple effect. Oh, um, that is so such a cool idea. Really fun. So this whole area is like all things foodie. I had heard you talk about the charcuterie board. Yes, so, one of my favorite things I have in my house. So great. So you can gift a charcuterie board on its own. Okay. You could gift it the tree charcuterie board and a book. Yeah. Now these books, I know. I have this. Okay, great. I never use them for the recipes. I use them for the inspiration of the visual. Yes, me too. Right. Then you could do this, the book, and then maybe something to put on your charcuterie board. So maybe you're putting mother puckers. Oh my gosh. Maybe you're putting IQ carambas. Wait, I <laughs> missed all of this too. Maybe you're putting carrots of fire. You know, so Wait, that's so funny. <laughs> right? Cauliflower power. So there are ways, again, to make your gift small, or why not gift the board a book and then some things to actually go on your board. Also like fun? a pickle and hot sauce kit? So this is the company that you love about the, um, with the bagels. Okay, oh, so same company? Kit. Yes, a hot sauce kit, a fresh cheese making kit. Oh my gosh. So these are great also, like if you have a newly married couple or you have a family, Yes. It, what it's doing is it's not a, it's not only a gift, but it's creating an experience that they have together. That's what I also was just really going to fun. say. Like these moments like actually create like a whole night in for your family. Exactly. Which feels so important, especially now in the world that we live in. Agreed. I mean, this is so good. Good. One of my favorites is Jacobson Salt. Yes. I so buy it all the time. Other flavored salt on the other side. Oh, they're the company that made these. Yes. I have this. Yes. So I will tell you, it is great high quality salt. And I think people underestimate like what a good salt actually does versus like what you would buy at the grocery store. Yes. A good salt is super important. So how we were talking about rounding out a gift. What if you did two flavored salts and then a salt cellar? Oh yeah, that's a good gift. You know what I mean? Also, it's something people don't give. And that you that people don't buy, them buy themselves. themselves. You're right. Yes. Oh, I love it. Okay, fun.
Um, I also heard you talk about the noodles. Yes. So this is restaurant grade. It's still from Momofuku. It's restaurant grade soy sauce and tamari. Okay. And so this is also fun to give with these little bowls because my bowls I use for I soy use those for everything. At home. I mean, I use these for everything. I will throw them for the ketchup, for the mustard, for any sides. Yes. For picnic, like I use on them. your charcuterie board for all of honey. Things. Yes. Yep, all the things. Choices. I feel like you can. Ne I think people underestimate. Like, what will I use that small bowl for? I use them constantly Agreed. for everything. Agreed. Everything. Yes. And it's a way to merchandise your. Wait, you cannot board. pass dog stuff. Okay. Okay. So these are so fun. Um, I mean, we have Barkweiser. We have I mean, Lacroix. These are amazing. Um, bark it's sparkling water, obviously. We have. Well, Champagne. Mabel needs that one. Do you like the big one or there's a mini? No, she needs the big one. Okay, obviously. We have Kennel One. Kennel One Vodka? Um, we have Cavalier Sauvignon. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. We have Pup Trone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so the options These are, are so endless. cute. Also, if someone just gets a new dog, yes. like this is what you have to take. Yes. They're great for housewarming gifts too. Yes. If you know that, like it's kind of fun to bring a bottle of wine, bring a bottle of wine for the dog, or you could do a oh bottle my... of champagne and a bottle of champagne for the dog. That's that. hysterical. Yeah, fun gift. So for stuffed animals, I mean, these are the softest, coziest stuffed animals. Not all stuffed animals are created equal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and they are super soft and they come in all different categories. So we have everything from like our rainbow and sun and cloud and moon to our food. I mean, we have a sandwich. We have blue cheese. Um, oh we have brie. Oh my gosh. You, speaking of a charcuterie board, you can make How it full. It for the kids, yes. <gasps> um, there's a raspberry. There's a lemon. Wait, the chocolate croissant is chocolate everything. Croissant. An enormous pretzel. It's all of the stuffed animals that you never knew that you needed, but you actually Look needed. at this Christmas tree. And it's like the softest thing on the planet. Yes. I also feel like for like a little kid's room that you couldn't fit like a tree in. Yes. This is so cute. Yes. And the it's soft and yeah. <laughs> They are so I mean, soft. And I will tell you that with the little lobster, the kale, I mean, the plum. Um, we have collectors of all ages, so they start very young, and then I, we have a large adult clientele that has a lot of a collection of jelly cat. The um, the octopus is a bestseller of ours. A little shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute. So, I mean, there's just there's like, there's something for everybody. And once again, you can buy a stuffed animal somewhere, but like this is such a different experience with a stuffed animal. Yes. While we're talking about stuffed animals, yes. this kind of touches on the weighted blanket. Okay. So over here, um, my kids are too little to watch this, so this, this won't be spoiled for okay. Christmas. But my gr my mom is getting all of her grandkids. These are called warmies. Okay. So feel this. It oh. is a weighted stuffed animal, <gasps> and so the idea is that they you can put it in the microwave. Okay. It heats up. Okay. So while they're sitting on the couch or in bed, you can it can be like a warm weighted stuffed animal. So if you don't have a weighted blanket, this is a way this for them genius. to have that weight and that warmth. So it's comfort, it reduces anxiety, stress. Oh my gosh, they're so sweet. Mm -hmm. They're so soft. So it's like the neck pillow for kids. Exactly. This is great. so great. Yeah. And I mean, the oh, and it gives you all the heat up directions too. Exactly. So we've got everything from the a alligator to a rooster. The alligator, alligator is so unicorn, cute. Horse. I mean, something for everybody. Those Little kids, moose. Those kids' beanies are like, oh. I know, so cute. I have to ask you this, yes. or I will beat myself up. The store smells so good. Okay. Can you so, talk to me? Yes, that's grapefruit pine. And so that is like our signature scent in Breathe at Home. Okay. So these candles, the scent is coming from one candle. There's it's only, the whole store. There's only one candle burning. 
And so it has an amazing fragrance throw. Mm. It's a very concentrated scent, but not in an overwhelming scent that maybe you smell sometimes when you walk past a store. Like, yeah, I oh. agree. <laughs> I agree. And, like very intense. It's kind of like the personal fragrance where it's a wash of scent, mm. but it has a great fragrance throw that it will definitely fragrance a large okay. part of your home. So grapefruit pine is our signature scent. We, we burn it all year long. In the summer, people will come in and say like, oh, it smells so citrusy in here. And during the holiday months, people are like, oh, it smells like festive and like a pine tree. So it's I, all It's like a really good scent. balance. Cause yes. you can, like the pine wouldn't fill out a place burning this in the summer no. or spring, but the grapefruit doesn't fill out a place burning it in the winter. Yeah, it softens the pine and the pine kind of deepens the grapefruit. Yes. So they're like a perfect little marriage. So we have grapefruit pine candles in all sizes. The up vessels to like, are The vessels are very cool. So there's Wait, like this the, is a candle? Yeah. Um, this is great for a coffee table in the middle of a dining room table. And also your whole entire house. Yes. How I'm really particular about candles burns well, like really levels out well if you let it burn long enough, all of so the things. So here, I kind of went to a candle school um, at one point, and <laughs> I will tell you that there's this there's this really important trick to okay. a brand new candle, is the first, the, a candle will always follow its initial burn path. Okay. So when you get a brand new candle, you want to burn it for a longer period of time okay. so that as much of the top is melted as possible. Okay. So if you burn a brand new candle for 15 minutes and only the little, it's going to tunnel, circle, it's going to all the way to the bottom. If the entire top is melted, okay. it will follow that channel smoothly throughout its entire lifespan. Now with these vessels, these vessels are really intended to be reused. So let's yes. say you have a little bit of wax at the bottom. Okay. So what you do is you put it in your freezer for like 15 minutes. You'll take a butter knife, go right down the side. You'll pop up the bottom okay. and it's a perfectly clean vessel. Oh. So the vessels can be reused. I like to keep my empty vessels aside so that if I'm driving past a farm stand and I see sunflowers in the summer and I'm going to a friend's house, I'll put the sunflowers in that as my vase and I leave it at my friend's house. Oh, that's such a good idea. Yeah, I have a customer who she said she has them in every room of her house for the remote controls next to the couch. Genius. Right. You can do makeup brushes. You can do, you can put your own tea lights in them and do them for oh, a, night yes. on a mantle or a tablescape or whatever the case may be. It adds volume, but you're reusing it. So you never have to feel bad about it. I'll say my tree bark vessel, I took to my florist, I had her put succulents in it, and it now lives in the center of my dining room. Genius. Really Genius. Cool. I love this vessel. Isn't that cool? It's so So pretty. all of these mercury glass, when the candle starts to burn down, it really just lights up the mercury glass, and it makes it so special and different. I mean, they're just mm -hmm. beautiful. So there's all price points for candles. I also love the raw edge yeah. at the top. None of them are the same. I mean, we're getting this too. Yeah. Who do you feel like you're missing on your list? Who can I, who's stumping you? Who is stumping me? I don't know. I think I'm like a pretty good gift giver too. I don't yeah. know if anyone is stumping me this year. Well, those are, you know, if you have people on your list that are like totally just giving you a hard time and you can't think Really? Yes. So let me give you a, like I, what I think some people would be struggling with. Okay. I think people struggle with their husbands and guys. And I think it's particular because like guys just like don't get overly excited about anything. So like if you were to gift a guy and let's say he is not a huge like sports person, mm -hmm. what would you, what would be some of the things you would go towards? Um, I would do, I would definitely do a foodie, a foodie mm -hmm. basket. I would do one of like something that you're doing together. So a pretzel a making idea. kit, that type of thing. We have some very cool puzzles. Um, also from Sunny Life over here, this is kind of more of a masculine look. We have really fun, bright Lucite too. Um, we have great Lucite poker sets. That's a great gift. Um, in here we have the chess and checkers. Um, set. So again, this is kind of evoking this time together and oh. that I think is really important. Wait, is this book about trees? trees? <laughs> this Wait, is this is the book for Steven then. Okay, great. Steven is obsessed with trees. Perfect. 
This is also what I would do for a guy who's not into sports. This is a charger. Well, that is the prettiest charger I've ever seen. I would agree with you. So you have one cord that's going into your wall. You can okay. leave this on your nightstand, in his office, on the kitchen counter. Anything that's on these three dots is charging. Okay. So whether it's your phone, your Apple Watch, your you know, ear pods, okay. whatever. And then here he's throwing his wallet, his keys. Oh my gosh. So that really comes That's a the really guy good guess. Not into sports, who really doesn't need anything. I would guess that pretty much everyone has a this device. This also, I feel like, is a great gift for like someone who's in like their first apartment or first home because everyone needs that catch-all yes. thing near their front door, but also to have a charger added to it is yes. like a genius gift. Yes. I am pumped about all of the things, but this Wise good. Tree book is amazing. Abby, I will tell you, this has been so much fun. I hope you've had fun too. This is the... Everybody who finds shopping exciting is exciting to me. Oh my gosh. I loved it. This has been a blast. I hope you guys have loved it. Um, write in the comments below what things you think you're going to pick up. I'm going to link everything that Abby and I talked about. It's going to be the largest linked description box we've ever had. I'm going to link what I bought, what Abby shared, and all the things. But please go to Breathe at Home. Check them out. No drinking in the car. She already has her toy. Look at her. We can't have an open bottle in the car. It's against the law, and we might get pulled over. No open bottles, Mabel. Come in here. Come here. Come here. And that's an indoor toy that is not an outdoor hey, toy. Hey, no open bottles. Thank you. <laughs> I'll send for later. She already loves it. She loves a toy. How long until this is destroyed? Uh, I give it a day tomorrow evening. Well, wait. Let's see. There's not any like little pieces on it, so I give it till, I'll and give there's, till Monday. I don't think there's a squeaker. Oh, yeah. yes, there is. She might just tear off the top, but usually she nibbles at like ears and toes and feet like that. No bottles in the car. Does that say rose all day? It says rose all day, and then it's woof clico. It's Wolf Clico. She's gonna start. She's gonna not see if they have a drinking problem. We got Bubba's you, a champ. We got Bubba's a champagne um, flute for New Year's, and uh, we had Bark Box one year. Remember? All right, you have to leave your toy here. Hey, uh, time for a walk. Time for a walk. You cannot take it with you. You cannot take it with you. This is what we'll pay. Bye. Bye, babe. I also realize you guys didn't see this. But I ended up getting one of the weighted blankets just because they really are, really are nice. Friends, this is rare for me, but I am so excited to share this with you. I got back here at maybe 10 o'clock and I've worked the last two hours editing and linking everything because I just want to get this video in your hands because I think it's going to give you so many ideas and I am so excited for you to peruse their website and shop them and support them because they are just lovely, lovely people. Everything is linked into the description box. Have fun. Tonight, Stephen and I are going to have fun too. We have a cocktail party at our neighbor's house, and then we are heading to the village that we go to every year. It's our tradition, and I will share some of the footage from that with you tomorrow, but I just want to get this in your hands. So, take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>